hello hello and what's up everyone you're welcome back once again to the channel in this video i'm going to be telling you guys rabbits that are meant for meat production rabbits that are meant for fur production and also rabbits that are meant for pets so a lot of you guys just going through rabbit farming based on the fact that you just love rabbits you just love seeing them around that was also why, one of the reasons why i went into rabbit farming i just love them as an animal i just love the way they look i saw them through my friend's place then i had to get them too because i love the way the rabbits were actually looking in this video i want to be explaining to you guys before going into rabbit farming currently i don't want you guys to make some of the mistake i made as a rabbit farmer before going to rabbit farming make sure you know the purpose by which you are going into rabbit farming for why you're actually going into rabbit farming and also your target market because when you start production that's where you have an issue if you don't actually learn from what i want to be sharing in this video so yeah, welcome back to the channel in this our channel we teach you how to become a successful rabbit farmer and a successful rabbit breeder and also a pet owner so if that's what you find interested consider liking this video and subscribing to our youtube channel so as i earlier said i'm going to be explaining to you guys some few rabbits that are meant for meat some rabbits that are meant to for pets and also some rabbits that are for fall production when i say fall production rabbit that all can be used for making bags making shoes and some other things making coats too so let's start from the meat aspect because that's one of the most popular reason why most people go into rabbit farming for meat yes so the rabbits that are best for meat are the rabbits like the new zealand whites i'll be showing you guys the picture of it on the screen also the rabbit like the new zealand whites because this particular rabbit actually has a very good meat to bone ratio this particular rabbit can weigh from about 4 kg to 7 kg depending on how well it's being fed this particular rabbit can live for um a lifespan of about four to eight years so the new zealand white rabbit is a very very good rabbit breed for meat production the number two rabbit i want to be talking about for meat production is the palomino rabbit palomino rabbit is a very very good rabbit when it comes to meat production palomino rabbit also can wear about four to six kg depending on how well it's being fed one thing you guys should know is that all the rabbits do have what they call dwarf breeds and medium breeds and high breeds then they also have what they call the pure breeds a new zealand can be a dwarf breed a new zealand can be a medium breed a new zealand can be a dwarf breed and a new zealand also can be a pure breed so don't get mistaken when they say new zealand's are all when they say new zealand's are high breed you can see a dwarf breed new zealand yes depending on the line it's actually coming from after all some new zealand's are pure breeds while some are high breed the pure breeds are actually better growing than the high breeds. so a lot of them have different things we are also going to be explaining in videos to come about all this kind of stuff yes we are still also going to be meeting some experts that will be talking to us about a lot of this we are working towards that so there are a lot you can actually learn from this our channel the channel is actually a very interesting one you should not miss out just subscribe if you are yet to subscribe also another um, rabbit i'm going to be talking about is the american chinchilla the american chinchilla rabbit is also a very very good rabbit when it comes to meat production it can weigh from about 4 kg to 8 kg depending on how well it's being fed yes i have an american chinchilla currently on my farm i was not having that breed before but i currently made up my mind that okay i want to have varieties of rabbits so i got a lot of different breeds that i was not having in my farm before like the american chinchilla currently i have it then i also have the new zealand black i have the new zealand black yes a lot of you guys check online what they call new zealand black i'll be putting a video of it on the screen yes when they say new zealand new zealand have uh three types they have what they call the new zealand white they have the new zealand red they also have the new zealand black yes so i have the new zealand black currently i also have a new zealand white so let's go back to what we we're talking about another rabbit i want to be talking about that is very very good for meat production is the hylas when i say the hylas a lot of people in ghana don't really know a uh, rabbit that are called hylas mm -hmm. they actually look like a new zealand hylas are crossbreed between california white and new zealand white crossbreed between california white and new zealand white those are the hylas so those hylas that actually have a brown nose are those one that looks like the california which they call them the hyla max 
Then those highlights that have a clear nose, just pure white like the New Zealand, they call this one the Hyla NG. Yes, we are still going to go into detail of that in another video, but I was just trying to show you guys a bit of what Hyla is all about. So Hyla is also a very, very good rabbit when it comes to meat production. It can weigh from 3 kg to 6 kg, depending on how well it's being fed. Some can even grow more. I have someone who has a highlight that is very, very big and weighed up to 7 kg. Yes. So it depends on how well you feed your rabbit and the line the rabbit is actually coming from. It can even grow more than the average of what they're actually saying online that your rabbit can grow to. Your rabbit can even grow more than that. So most times a lot of um, messages you might get online might be average. Yes, the average size also. Not that it won't grow so past that size. So I'm um, talking about the meat rabbit now. Also the checker giant is also a very, very good meat rabbit which can also grow very very well too then when it comes to um fall production the angoras are the ones that are very very good for fall production then because they have a very uh, good hair yes they have a lot of hair in their body so they are very very good when it comes to fall production like people that want to go into supplying companies cotton companies that make bags shoes coats and all of that the angoras are the breeds that are for you that you are going to be getting also angoras are also very very good for pets too a lot of people that want rabbit around them that want to get rabbit um maybe just for your house you just love them because of how the animals are cute because rabbits are very cute animals so maybe you just want them around your house and so on you can consider also getting the angoras also dutch dutch is also a very very good pet breed yes dutch is a very very friendly rabbit a lot of you guys don't really know that one of my best breeds when it comes to rabbits as a whole are dutchies one of the reasons why i love dutchies is that they are very very high resi disease resistance dutchies can get sick but the chances of them dying is very very slim compared to the others because they are very very um uh, they are very very high in disease resistance yes that's one thing i've noticed about dutchies not just from my own experience a lot of experienced farmers have also shared this with me too so that's one of the reasons why i actually love dutch so if you are someone that's just starting up a rabbit farm maybe you don't really have a lot of experience you can just consider getting dutchies so that uh their uh, parenting instinct is actually very very good when it comes to taking care of the kids dutchies are also very good when it comes to that too so for the pet breed dutch angoras can be for a very very good pet breed so for those uh, rabbit I mentioned for the meat breed, if you know you are going for a rabbit farming, if you know you are going into rabbit farming because of meat production, consider getting the New Zealand white, consider getting California, Hyla Max, um, American Chinchilla, Checkered Rabbit too. But if you don't want to get all this breed, the one breed I will um, recommend for you is the New Zealand white because that's one of the best when it comes to meat production the new zealand white so i hope i've actually tried to explain a bit of things on this video please do all well to like this video subscribe to the youtube channel currently we are at 6,000 subscribers and still running before the end of this year we are going to hit 10,000 subscribers so subscribe to our youtube channel turn on the notification bell like this video if you are yet to like also share to your friends that also rabbit farmers that want to learn a lot of things because we have a lot of videos on our channel that can actually teach you thank you for watching this video do have a nice day and until next time peace out